PJ Volker. I'm the Navy linebacker coach here to talk about tackling today. See my contact information here, so we move along. So number one for us, everything starts with us with the term we use in terms of track called tracking. And we are a leveraged tackling football team made famous basically from Pete Carroll, the Seattle Seahawks. So if I'm an outside in player, so if the ball carrier is inside of me, I'm going to track the outside hip and look to, to maintain outside leverage on the ball carrier with a shoulder tackle. If I'm an inside out player, I'm going to track the inside hip and make, make a tackle inside out on the ball carrier. And you can see that our vision is always going to be directly on the near hip of the ball carrier. And one of the first things we do is this tackle, this tracking drill here. And you're going to see that here is we set this up about 10 yards apart. This is something we'll do uh, during, during circuits. We'll do it in individual. Every position player defensively will do this. The defensive line, linebackers, safeties, DBs, corners, safeties. Everybody will have an opportunity to do this. We, we start with a simple block destruction here. We're working over top. We're tracking the near hip. And our deal is we want to be in that hump position. We want to be lean forward, constantly gaining ground, tracking that near hip. So if that ball carrier is to cut back, that he, that we will be able to make a tackle on the cutback. And when we finish, we want to finish with that near foot up. We want to finish with our near foot up to the ball carrier and tagging off on the near knee. So we track the near hip, but we tag the near knee. You can see us working this drill on both, both sides here. This is something that, that is a constant in our tackle circuit. You can see up top, we're just working again, that quick block destruction, working downhill. We want to constantly be gaining ground. A lot of times, so one of the things you'll see is guys start to get in a shuffle, start to get in a shuffle too far away from the ball carry. Here, we're doing a great job. I love how 11's gaining ground. He's in that tilted position, and you see him finish exploding through as he tags off on that near on that near knee of the ball carrier. One of the main things here is we want to make sure that we are square to the man. Not square to the line of scrimmage or square to this line in the drill. We are square to the man. We want to make sure that we're doing a great job working towards that ball carrier's near him and exploding into contact. That you see 11 right there does an excellent job. Right here, 38 coming over top with it. A simple punch white works over top. He's downhill, gains ground there, but I don't like how he gets back to erect. We want to be in that hump position, way down on the balls of his feet, and then finish that near foot up, tagging on the near knee. And guys, this drill, man, this drill comes through time and time again. You're going to see our field safety up top here on the jet sweep, coming downhill, working inside out, his feet never stop, arrives on the near hip of the ball carrier, he's down at the line of scrimmage. You're going to see number 11 right here. Going to get a, a flare screen to the side. You're going to see him work over top here. Gets into a shuffle. He works over top. As he starts to work down, you see him work to his approach. Okay, and, and attack that near hip. Get on the leg. Stop the motor. He's down. You see 54 in the box. Quarterback keeps the ball in his own option play, scraping over top. 54. Just love this right here. See the eyes. See the vision. He's got his eyes right on that near hip. He's going to arrive on the ball carrier, scraping inside out. Just an excellent job by him. So you see this happen at every different level. 94, our three technique here. You're going to see a zone play to the left. He gets reached, but you just, just look at his eyes. His eyes are on the near hip. You get the wrap squeeze, attack the near hip, and then he rolls back to his leverage, put the ball carrier on the ground. 53, drop it into space. So you see this in run plays at the defensive line. You see this in pass plays. you got the quarterback scrambling here, 53. And just look at the slight tilt in his shoulders as he works back downhill. Square to the quarterback the entire way, square to the ball carrier, finishes on the football, right on that near hip. Just love the way that looks. And this is how we play our defense. We attack leverage. We do not want to be sit, sitting back, churning, uh, churning our feet, burning up grass. We want to be attacking. We want to be on the attack, attacking or leverage. One of the main things we talk about here is missed tackles are going to occur. Guys are going to miss tackles. And number one, any tackle on game day is a good tackle. But missed tackles will occur. The, the, the critical thing that cannot occur is what we call a wrong tackle. That's when leverage is lost on a tackle. So if I'm an outside in defender and that tackle, I get beat back to the outside. That is a wrong tackle. We cannot have that happen 
The next piece of this for us is what we call the shimmy. Okay? And the shimmy is basically our approach. And you can see this drill we set up at an angle. They're five yards apart, seven yards distance. And we're going to work downhill. And about a yard and a half away, you're going to see, we're going to start to get into our shimmy, start to get into our approach. And what we want to do is we want to be square to the man, near leg forward, and constantly gaining ground to the ball carrier. I like number eight over here. You're going to see he's got that slight tilt. He's in the hunt position. His knees are bent, butts down. His eyes are forward, he's in that tilt position, and he's square to the ball carrier. You look in the middle right here, and you look on the far right, number 45 and number one, they're square to the to, to that line, to the sideline right here on this drill. We want to be square to the man. And that's a critical thing that we talk about here, and we continue to work on it. They just finished this drill with a quick tag of the near knee, and we're done. Okay? You can see another, another quick look at this here. Couple of these guys, number three in particular, he's a big long corner. We need to get him down a little bit, but you see how he gets his shoulders back square. Okay, we want to make sure that his shoulders are looking more like number five on this far left and square to the man, not square to the line. You can see 28 over here. I mean, this is why it, this is a simple drill. This guy's probably got a 30 ACT here at Navy, and he goes on the wrong side here and, and loses leverage. This is why you do these drills to constantly reinforce the muscle memory constantly reinforce what we're trying to accomplish in ter terms of tacking inside out. We'll add a simple block destruction in this as well. We do this with a lot of our tackling drills. Is we're going to put a block destruction piece into it where we've got to do something where we've got to strike shed, rip off, throw to the near hip, whatever. However you teach block destruction, you can simply easily add that into any drill. You can see number one here does a much better job getting that knees, knees bent, butt forward, and then getting tilted back to the ball carrier, finishing with that tag off on the near knee. Excellent right there. Excellent. And you see this come.